So the only thing what you need is the big obviously isopropyl alcohol, a spray bottle and acrylic ink. And it's highly recommended to cover your working area because it's going to be a mess everywhere. Because I would like to have this middle mid-tone, then I'm not going to add too much ink into the alcohol because later on I can always add more and more if I want to have a darker shade. Be careful with it. Mix it a little. And because now I basically covered only the top, I try to brush it a little through the hair and then just simply lift the extensions and then you can spray between and under. Now I'm going to add a little more ink because I'm gonna go down to the bottom layer where it needs to be a little darker. So I think five is going to be enough. Just two, three, four, five. Oh. You can separate the wig to different uh, parts, but I prefer to go like this, easy peasy. It's going to be the same color everywhere. If it's not going to be dark enough, then after the wig dried, I'm going to see the final shape. And if it's still really not enough dark, then I can go back again. And you can see this technique is pretty simple. It's not the most professional technique because for then, for that, um, I should separate to different zones to the hair and make different extensions. But now I spent about 15 minutes of work on the wig, and it's basically almost done. So if you are in the last minute hurry, then I think you should really do that. The hair is covered everywhere, and here nice color change and the next is going to be the dried wig I just wanted to show that my hands are perfectly clean after uh, about one minute of washing with warm water and soap so don't worry but if you use more ink uh, or darker colors then probably it's better if you cover your hands with uh, gloves but you see it's perfectly fine. Okay. So it's nice and balanced ombre effect. And I finished only one ear because I just wanted to test how would this shape and uh, this color look like on the wig. And if you're interested of how to make these furry ears, then I can make a video about it as well. It's a very cheap, very, very fast and a very easy technique. Uh, for example, you don't have to use warbler and you don't have to use everywhere the very expensive faux fur. Okie dokie. So that's all. Uh, how to focus? Oh, perfect. <laughs> By the way, now it's basically the same on the camera as how it looks in real life so thank you for watching and see you in the next video